Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. One way to pull this cover off, you're gonna push right here. You take a little screwdriver right here, pry down, right like that. Pry it out, turn the lights off again, just push that little button. Right now we're gonna pull this side off. We're gonna push, use our straight blade screwdriver. Just pry this down. Be careful not to break it. Pull it down, turn the light off. Take a Phillips head screwdriver. There's a screw right here. Pull that out. There's one right here as well. Pull those two screws out. Pull this down like that. There's two eight millimeter bolts right here. One here, I'm gonna use an eight millimeter socket, an extension, and a ratchet. Take these out. Take that one out, and we'll take this one out. Pull that one out. And grab it and pull it down. The connector right here. And disconnect this connector. Use a straight blade screwdriver to push down the tab. Pull the connector out. Just like that. There's a connector right here. Push down on this tab. Push it out. There is your overhead console assembly. Right, to separate this piece from the outer piece, I'm gonna use a straight blade screwdriver and these little tabs right here, and under here, and then I'll take this off. And then to get this piece off, there's a little tab right here. Use the same screwdriver. Push that while you're pulling up on the switch. And that comes up. And do the same with this back side. Pull that up. And then same with this one. To get these switches out of this trim piece, take a 90 degree pick. I'm going to get under here gently. Go back and forth. Just rotate the pick. Should be able to get that off. And we'll get this switch off the same way. Just pull it out, just like that. And the back side, a little tab right here. While I'm pushing the switch from the front side, release that tab and release this tab this tab and then over here release this tab and now comes the switch I'm gonna reinstall this um, I'm gonna hold this like this take the trim piece slide it on like this just like that so everything's locked in. Now I can take this little switch and the button, and then we'll just push it down so it locks in. Now this is gonna sit like this. So we want this switch to be like this, and then lock it down. Now we're gonna install these switches into the dome light assembly. Lock it right in like that. And we're gonna install the dome light assembly into the console trim. Just line it up like that. And lock it in, just like that. 
and we can connect the connector. This connector goes in here. It's going to slide in just like that, lock it in place. This connector is going to connect in over here. Line that up. Oops. Push the connector down. We can slide this right back up here. Take this eight millimeter bolt. Get this one started. At least that one started. I'm gonna get the other one started before I tighten them down. I'll install these screws. And now that they're all in, we'll snug them down. And we'll tighten these ones down with the 8mm socket, extension, and a ratchet. And we'll just snug them. Not too tight, it is plastic, so be careful not to over tighten it and crack it. Install this cover, just like that. Now we're going to install this cover. Just slide this side in first, and then lock in the back side. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.